people and welcome back to the spider's web. Let me just raise this a touch. Yeah, that's better. And as you can see we're going to be making a start on the um, sniper scalps that I've been given. Well as you can see they haven't been constructed yet and um, I just thought I'd show them on the sprue and these are going to be for my salamander's army and I've just noticed there's a tyrannid head there interesting so let's have a look at the destructions for our first chappy well we have Pert A goes to Pert A and then Pert A goes to Pert A or Pert A goes to Pert A and then Pert A goes to Pert A but those two aren't numbered so I don't know which ones to use for them <laughs> ok so let's Pert A so let's find out which one it is that is Pert A <coughs> which is the, the back of the <coughs> the back of the sergeant chappy let's snip him off and then we want the legs of the sergeant chappy which are these as you can see they're all lettered that is part A, part C, part B, part D and part E so we'll snip part A off when I'm doing these I always snip off the sprue and then I've got more chance of being able to get at the joins where the it attaches to the model easier rather than trying to struggle doing it now plus if you've got like a very fine piece like um, there is anything on here you know where it's quite delicate and fragile if you try snipping it off like so you could actually stress it and um, snap it off which is not good, not good because you don't want to go you don't want to buy a model and then break it by trying to get it off the sprue ok so get our emery board and just go over I think there I'm going to use my knife <coughs> so it's just scrape It doesn't sound pleasant, but I've got a daughter who uh, is a fan of Westlife, so I'm used to things not sounding pleasant. Next, we want a head. Okay, so which head is it we need? Okay, I think it could be this one. Now there, because it's a solid piece and just one piece, I don't need to rush taking it off. Well, I don't need to rush taking it off by using the sprue or by cutting the sprue. It'll just come off. Like it's on the cord. And then we want um, one of these uh, little targeter ujits which will go on the head like so go. this is going to be the tricky part because I can't find my tweezers and then I'm going to add not that glue we want this glue plastic glue 
went to Dave's workshop today, I asked for some of this. He said, would I like thick or thin? I said, this is me, thick. He seems to appreciate that one. So it's just a gentle squeeze. So you get a little bit on the tip and touch it to don't try and go all out and uh, get too much on the model because it can just squelch out and spoil things. There we are. That's the first part done, which is the head featuring the targeted device. Now it's a case of getting the gun. So that's A, which is this one. So we'll snip off from the sprue, as per usual, and then snip off around the gun to then clean it up. There we are. I'm going to use the emery board for the top of this because it's not easy to get to with the knife. I think it is with nothing to actually lean the knife on while you're doing this. And the mole lines along the top of the gun, along the bottom of the gun, if there is any. See a little bit there. And there. And that is how it fits on. So that's going to be going on now. That is the main part. The head with his uh, targeting device can go on when that's finished. And then his arm. Um, I'm going to snip off just a little bit of this here because I think that's what's doing the damage. I think it's just that touch too long. And let's just add some more glue. This area. I'm just going to add a touch of the glue to the back and the front of this so hopefully when it's positioned it will attach to something. And I found how it goes in but it just doesn't seem to want to stick. So I'm going to place that face up. I'm going to pop the lid back on there and come back to it hopefully when it's there. stuck. It's finally managed to stick. Yay. Um, still not fully dry around here. You can see it's a bit shiny yet but not to worry. At least it's stuck, so we can at least carry on. And we're going to glue the head on now. There we go. Well, 
got the head looking a little bit to one side as though it's seen something now we have a choice we can either go with the targeter which is that one sorry or his hands ready for giving the follow me order I think the targeter might be an idea just that little bit something extra that is how you don't take them off the sprues because you can actually damage them but it's one of those if I had damaged it then what I would have done is use the hand and let's do that and do that what we have to remember here is the thumb goes over or the thumb goes at the top and that oops it's had too much there wipe it a little bit off and look for the thumb and attach in the right position I mean, why he needs that when he's got like digital targeters on his helmet I don't know but it just seemed a more interesting variation than just having him waving trying to work out then as to whether or not I've got this position in the right way and I have but again it doesn't seem to want to stick it on whether this there's something wrong with this glue or not well we bought it today let's try again There we are. And then once he's done we have our bases that we can glue him onto. But we're not going to do that yet because I want to I want to position him first. Um in fact I can do that because it's not gonna affect anything, is it? Do that and a dollop of glue there, a dollop of glue there, and stand him on the base. And there we have our first oops, oops, got a second. There we have our first sniper scout. Here's the sergeant. So I'll just have to let him dry there and then we can move over to our second chappy. Now for this one we have legs B, torso and cape B and gun D, C or B. And all I've done here is I've glued the torso to the legs, I've glued the targeting system to his head so now all that's left is to glue the gun but I'm not going to do that I'm not going to I'm not going to do the gun the reason being it's going to be difficult to paint 
that and that part there especially if the gun's glued on so I will hold off from doing the gun until I've um, until I've undercoated well, until I've primed the gun on this part and I've painted this figure once it's painted then it will be um, good to go and not a problem and I will when I find them glue them to the base so that part gets a spot of glue so does that part so does that part and And as I say, the gun will go on when it's primed and only when it's primed. So I'll move them together. So now it's our next, next choppy, um, which is number three. So this fella again has his um, head with the Ujits on DCB rifle legs D and uh, torso and cape D glue on the glue on the place it down that one's done. I'm not going to glue the head on, I'm going to clean these off first but I want to, in fact no, I can glue the head on. And the gun again, as I said, can wait until it's been primed. His weapon is here, which will be exactly the same as the previous weapon. It's the same number, but with this one. He's standing up and not squatting. There you are. Well, not, ne not squatting, kneeling. Let's see what's next. Well, let's see what's next and see is next because we've got body C, leg C and again gun DCB. And we'll get this stand. Um, I'm doing these on camera but I certainly won't be doing my uh, storm town on camera. I'll do bits and let you have a look and then I'll do bits more and then I'll let you have a look. I'm going to be taking my time doing that one. And once I've finished, I'm going to set up all my salamanders um, on uh, like a terrain board, and you can see my entire salamanders army in all its glory. Okay, I am going to use the missile launcher, I've decided. The reason I've decided is because this head. On the last head, I think I should have used the surgeon because he's got his mouth open. Just get it all off the sprue, clean it up, and do what I've done with the rest of it. Um, so hopefully tomorrow it'll be a nice day and then I can start. Clean that bit there. That bit there. That bit there. 
Um, nothing on there I can get up with this. There, there, there. And I think that. And guess what? Light it up and go whinge again. That bit goes on there like that. So we'll glue that on. The guns. just be uh, painted rather than primed. I'm going to go everywhere else with the black primer. And I'm using black primer specifically because uh, and no it's not because I've run out of white. I have white. Um, I'm using black primer because with it being um, like a green colour and the majority of the in fact it, not I wouldn't say the majority all the ones I've done previously have been undercoated in black but to make them all fit in give them all a similar colour I'm doing them in black because I don't want any looking as though they are a bit shine a bit brighter shade than others um, Scouts usually have, well if you look at the pictures of these, um, you will see that they have these ultramarine ones and they have white trousers and sleeves there. Mine aren't going to be ultramarines, obviously they're going to be salamanders, so I'm going to do the trousers and everything black and all the rest of the things green. Right, so I'm going to glue the, I'm going to glue this fella down onto his base and then I'm going to leave the video there and we will carry on in the next one with painting. Okay, all the scouts done. Guns not, in, guns not included. <laughs> um, so as I said, when I can uh, get outside and spray these up I will do the guns and the sleeves I think I could get away with doing just by brush but I'll see if there is an see if it's a nice day tomorrow I'll get them all done and spray outside if I have to rush doing it for whatever reason like in between rain showers then I'll probably just do the um, the figures and paint the guns black instead of using the spray so until next time take care god bless and bye for now